Hey guys, Pitmo Scott here. I am back for another episode of our Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke. I also let's play, but it's a Nuzlocke apparently because I decided that last episode. Mr. Easy, thanks for coming on the chat. Nice and early, I appreciate it. Um, I'm just going to turn my volume down here a little bit. Do, do, do for myself. That's a little loud. There we go. That's better for me. Uh, let me know in the chat if the volume is too loud, whether it's the sound the background, my voice, whatever, and I'll try to fix it. But welcome back to episode different to you guys. I know it's been a little bit longer than uh, I promised, promised. So I think it was two weeks ago or something. But uh, yeah, I'm back nonetheless. I'm still here. It's just life is kind of crazy. Following me on Twitter, you kind of know that uh, I get a quick update. Things are going on. Anyway, let's jump into uh, just kind of moving along here. I also got my controller set up. So hopefully no more clicking on the keyboard. It should be a, a little bit better. Um, I did heal up off screen. And I also got rid of um, some things to get used to with the different controls. I also got rid of, uh, what's his name, Bidoof. So we're gonna try to train up uh, Starly here a little bit, and then just try to go from there. It is a Nuzlocke, so I gotta be a little bit careful. Um, oh, snap, right, this is what I didn't, I didn't want to do. <laughs> I didn't mean to go up here. Oh, this might be bad right away. I, I know he has a level five something or other. I don't think this is gonna be good. Yeah, I got rid of Bidoof. Um, oh, snap, this is not gonna go well. Man, why do I feel a little too starly? If we lose lock here, just straight up guys, I'm just gonna restart the video. If you guys are in the stream, you're gonna see this. Um, I didn't mean to actually go up here and <laughs> get any battles or anything. Um, let's just let's just growl it up to try to give some chance at surviving. Uh, tackle. Oh, it did way too much. Oh my gosh. All right, so good stuff down to one stage. Anyway, yeah. Oh, geez, now I'm all of a sudden really stressed. <laughs> um, do I have any potions is the question. I think I, I don't, I don't even have any potions. <laughs> Do I have anything? I don't have anything except balls and that doesn't help me. Oh wow, okay, this got stressful like, I'm from zero to 100 really freaking fast. <laughs> all right, all right, what are we, what's our play here? So he did nine damage. It's gonna knock us out if we stay in. So there's no point unless we just spot him off and then uh, try to go with Cheeto. What does Cheeto have again? He has Scratch and Leer. I could probably have growl. All right, I guess. <laughs> I guess like a minute into episode two, we gotta sack off shuttle. All right. All right, cool. I mean, unless he got the mother of all low rolls, which he, of course he didn't. That's all right. Oh uh, jeez. All right, well, <laughs> this is going so well. Oh, this is awesome. All right, cool. Uh, Cheeto, let's go scratch. I mean, we just gotta try to. Oh, we have speeds. I think. Yeah, this is not going to go well, guys. <laughs> Alright, jeez. Scratch. Shuttle. Yeah, shuttle goes down. Oh, my Lanta. He keeps growling. Okay, it's a speed tie, which is interesting. I wish we would have won that last time, but that's okay. Alright, how much is that going to do? Hopefully, like, four? Three. Okay. Okay. So that growl was definitely clutch. We got off the shuttle. Shuttle did not die in vain. Kept our lock alive. Because <laughs> this Starly could have been a big trouble. I don't think he uses any potions. He's training number one. He shouldn't. We should be okay here. And I think two more hits. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I was hoping to just have a nice casual, like, easy episode number two. Get into it. Get to the next gym. So I guess Bidu's joining our team after all. Um, <laughs> Jeez. Come on. Give us a crit here, please. Uh, we got one more hit. I will be fine. Oh man, wow. That is like the most hit on Scott move if I've ever seen one in my entire life. <laughs> oh jeez. All right, well, we're gonna run back and grab Bidoof. I can't remember what his nickname was to be honest. Um, I was gonna say we gotta do some grinding, but apparently, I mean, we're just going full tilt ahead on this one. Man, my eyes look, my face looks super red and the reflection of the glasses. Oh my God, guys, it's just, all right, let's try this. I don't know why they're, the lights behind me, I don't know how it's reflecting so bad, but all right. Alright, so Cheeto learned Ember, which would have been really nice to have beforehand. We probably could have. And I, I put Shuttle at the start of the party before that battle, too. That was like literally the worst thing I ever could have done in my life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh well, it is what it is. Alright, Starly up here, that's fine. Let's go, Cheeto. Um, just for XP, I guess. Let's take this thing out. A couple Embers should do it. I think level 3. Yeah, Ember helps a lot. Oh yeah, it does. Jeez, Ember is gonna like come in so much clutch. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, I've been wanting to come play Diamond for, for the whole two weeks I've been off, basically. 
Um, no, life's, life's just been busy with good stuff, really good stuff going on. So I'll show you guys later in the episode, because you kind of uh, give, gives you a reason to kind of hang around for a bit. But yeah, no, I've been in play for a little while, I just haven't got around to it. So thankfully today, I'm hoping to pound out like maybe two or three episodes, get them rendered. Uh, I have Friday off, I'm recording this on Wednesday if you're watching this on YouTube. I'm um, hoping to get it uploaded on Friday. No, tomorrow I'm hoping to have one episode done. Maybe. <laughs> uh, so, so I picked up a second job. I'm actually working at a, a pet store now on top of my hospital, my not hospital, my healthcare job. Work 8 to 4, 8 30, 4 30, Monday to Friday. But I also work now at a pet value. So, like a pet store with like pet food and all kinds of stuff. It's awesome. It's so different from everything I've done in the past like seven or eight years. So, I'm really looking forward to that, thankfully. Um, I had my first shift last night actually, it was awesome, I absolutely loved every second of it. The customer was really nice, the coworkers were incredible, the job pace was just very nice and relaxed. And uh, it, it was a good change of pace. Oh right, we named Oh Canada. <laughs> right, because beaver, buck teeth, right, gotcha. Alright, so, shuttle died. So first death of the Nuzlocke, so let's go ahead and throw over in box 18. And let's make this the death box. I could release them. I usually say I release them, um, but I'm just gonna keep them in here for now. We can go back kind of at the end of the playthrough and uh, see who who we lost out of my stupidity. Oh no, absolutely, man! Like uh, it's it's all interrupted by good stuff, but in reality, it's just life. Life is just going good. Um, a lot of good stuff going on. Let's just name this a uh, death box. Oops. What do you think of the music in the background too? I think it's kind of just nice and relaxed. I don't know, whatever. It's all good. Uh, yeah, so I got a job at the pet store, which is super exciting. Um, loving every second of that. I work at my second shift tomorrow, so it's really cool. Like I said, it's, it's different. It's not, not too hard of a job. Um, it's just different. It's nice. It's fun. I'm picking up pretty quick. Just a lot of kind of common sense. But no, so that's kind of what's been keeping me busy is I had an interview for that on Saturday, which I was planning to go and record. This episode, that I have an interview, and then I just been playing around the house. And yeah, uh, definitely relaxing that. I totally agree. Yeah, thanks for being like, I, yeah, I feel that. Uh, yeah, so... I've been busy with that, getting all that set up and doing some review and doing some online modules for training and whatnot, so that's been, uh, that's been a lot of fun. So I'm hoping, I'm working I think three nights a week, um, this week and next week. So I'm working Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, this week and next week. So it's Wednesday now, it's already on Tuesday shift. Uh, so just two more days this week and then that's good. So it gives me an extra bit of money to save up for my wedding and um, for a house, then we can go buy a house. Ah, no, worries. that's okay. So that's what we're kind of planning on right now, just get a bit of extra money, especially during the holidays, it never hurts to, to get a little bit of second income, you know, for the house. Third income, I guess, because Aaron works, <laughs> so. All right, so video goes down, she is probably going to a little eight here. I kind of want to put uh, Canada out front, just so we can get a bit of experience. However, I'm nervous, because we know what just happened last time with Shuttle when I tried to do that, so. Yeah, not sure how well that's going to go. All right. Um, I'm going to, no, I don't have to battle her. I'm going to do it. Right, okay, I'm going to, I want to change that actually. Now, yeah, just two seconds. I'm just going to change the configuration here really quick. Um, uh, let's do that. And that. There we go. Okay. All right, that should be better, I think. Yeah, okay. I might have to go for that. All right, that's awesome. And, okay, cool. That's fine now. <laughs> uh, your brave nature, which is why you get a speech back. Yeah, that, that would do it. Speed ties are a hard thing. Like I, I don't know my speed tiers at all, so I was like, I think load speed, but I started was really fast. Like Star Raptors is, is crazy, but um, yeah, speed ties are a thing which you can never really predict. I mean, obviously you can if you're good at Pokemon, which I'm not. So, all right, all right. So I did, yeah, I didn't switch up the video, but it's fine. I, yeah, I'd rather play it safe right now. I don't really want to lose all my team members on what or two hundred two, whatever it's called. I think it's two hundred two. Um, yeah, and I said we were gonna save our, our encounter up by Lake, I can't remember what it's called, Lake Reddity or something like that. Uh, the Lake we got our stars. I think I'm gonna save my encounter there until we go fishing, just so we can get something different. Because right now I'd probably just be another star leader or bidding for something like that, which I, we already have both, so just be deep as close. So, it's not a, not a huge deal. Uh, so, Bidoof, okay, now I'll switch up to Bidoof because I feel feel okay. We have 19 health at 27, not terrible. I should have picked up some potions though. That's okay. All right, let's go, Canada. Oh, Canada, oh, 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 Canada. All right, Bidoof against Bidoof. Now, do I try to take it down? No. <laughs> Not worth it. It's a, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of uh, PP and everything. Let's just go into to Cheeto. A couple embers should, should be able to take it out. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, thinking ahead, good plays. Um, this is like the first time I've ever thought of it. <laughs> so he did actually quite a bit of damage, or even seven damage. Actually, I think that's, that's quite a bit. It's kind of scary, but that's okay. Uh, use tackle. All right, that's fine. So I'm just gonna scratch just because. I was just saying we missed that. <laughs> would have been really upset. That's alright. That, that would have been my luck, you know. Miss a scratch, get critted, die. All, all the good stuff. All the stuff that happens in the Hitmon community. Alright. So basically, for the big things going on with my life is. Um, so, as you guys know, I uh, graduated high school in 2013. I went right into uh, my respiratory therapy degree at Dallas University. Uh, it was a medical degree, so I did that for four years. A lot of, a lot of training. Oh my god, a lot of hours. Um, and then I wrote two national registry exams. Actually, I actually had to write it twice because I failed my first time by literally, I think it was 0.39% I failed by. It was, it was one question on the national registry. It was a six hour national registry exam, and I failed by one question. It was like the most heartbreaking day of my entire life. I, just, it, it, I don't think anything would be that traumatic. It was, it was absolutely, I remember just breaking down and crying. It was, it was horrible. So I went through all that, and uh, you know, I worked in the hospital for three years, and I've been in sleep therapy for about a year. Of, Quarter, year and a half almost, and uh, I think I've decided. I've been thinking about it for a while. Um, I'm gonna go back and heal. I'm not. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> I'm not losing Cheeto right here because of me not healing. Um, so yeah, I think I've decided. I've come at peace that I I need to leave healthcare. Um, mentally, it's not for me. I don't think this is something I can do for the rest of my life. See, Shanklu Intimidate, that's what we needed. That's what we needed, not starting your bidding. We needed this thing. Ah, darn it, that's okay. Um, so yeah, I decided healthcare, not for me. And it, it, was, it was a hard decision. Um, it was a lot of having to talk to friends, family, a lot of inner reflection and looking at myself and saying, you know, is this something I can really do for the next 30, 35 years of my life? And I'm only 24, so I got a long way to go before retirement. So, and uh, I, kind of, I kind of decided, you know, this isn't something I can do. It's not something I want to do. Uh, mentally, it's very draining. It's very exhausting. It's not something I find any passion in anymore, which I did at first, and then now I just, I, I just don't. So, that was, that was very hard for me to kind of come at peace with that. So a lot of what I'm dealing with is talking with my, with my fiance about, you know, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go from here? And I think I finally decided on joining the military. So. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy to, to say. More every time I tell it to somebody, it's so kind of uh, surreal. I'm saying it. I'm gonna go talk to a recruiter on Friday, um, not to sign up. I'm gonna grab a couple balls just in case, uh, but just get a bit more information on the recruitment process and all that. But yeah, I'm gonna be joining the Navy. Um, I'm hoping to go in and be what's called a naval warfare officer. Um, so I know a little bit about the job right now, not a ton, but I'd like to hope it's more efficient for recruiter and everything about the job itself. Uh, I've talked to a couple of NWOs, what they're referred to, and I think that's definitely where I want to go. It sounds very interesting. I ruled the Army out right away. I did no interest in the Army. Uh, Air Force, not really my thing. I figured with Navy, it would put me on at least somewhere on the coast, where I grew up in Halifax, right on the water, and it was kind of right at home. Um, it's kind of funny, because my dad, he just retired from the Navy after 34 years. Uh, my uncle John was in the Navy as well. That's actually exactly what he did, was what I'm looking at, apparently, or like very similar to what he did. So I went back in his day, and he did. It was a little bit of a different role, but same kind of idea. So it's, it's it's funny how things kind of come full circle. It's like you know I don't want to I don't want to do that. I don't want to go military like my family. I'll just I'll do my own thing. And uh, yeah, it didn't didn't work too well. Cause look where I'm at now. <laughs> so I've had to have a lot of uh, a lot of talks with my fiance about this. And um, I think we've kind of figured out a plan with everything and how it's going to work and all the training schedules and moving around. And I think I think we have a plan. So I'm really looking forward to it. And ever since I've kind of decided this, it's been almost like a weight off my shoulders of. Just a good feeling of like I, I have something to look forward to, I think that I'm actually wanting to do and wanting to go towards. Like even the, the dreaded thought of like basic military officer qualification or the basic training of the MOQ, um, even that doesn't really scare me. I'm like I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be a great time starting to get in shape right now for it. Uh, I've gone to the gym once already this week. Uh, started up back at Taekwondo again. I've been doing what's called the 30 day push-up challenge. So trying to do at least 100 push-ups every day for 30 days straight. So um, I'm on day five right now. I've only <laughs> I've only done five sets of twelve, so I'm at what sixty. I got forty more to go, and I got about five hours. But I'll be fine. Yeah, it's actually gotten a lot easier in the past, you know, couple days. Um, so it's good. It's helping just to build up the, the chest and the shoulder muscles a little bit. All right, so youngster Logan's here with his shanks. Uh, probably about level five. Yeah, so we should both take the same couple of uh, three three or four hundred. Yeah, so. 
Yeah, thank you, man. No, I'm definitely, uh, definitely going for it. I think this is exactly what I want to do. Now, it won't be happening right away. Um, I'm looking for it probably April or March of 2020. Um, hopefully March, maybe. Oh, we got the burn. Nice. There we go. Um, yeah, just just looking at when our, our lease is up with the apartment, with the house we're renting and everything, and just to get time and finance, I think that'd be the best time to kind of go ahead and, and pursue this. So if that's a thing, uh, that one's got channel's going to die down for for a little bit. You know, I've got a basic for 13 or 14 weeks, and then from there I get shipped out to a base on the west coast for I believe about a year to do my. Uh, I think they call it MERS training. It's basically just your education to become an NWO. So it's about a year for that. And she was a little nine. She was getting all the levels today. That's awesome. Uh, and learn taunt. Interesting. That's interesting. Okay. That's actually, that might might come in handy. Especially in the situations where we're getting growled, we can't really switch out. That, that could be interesting. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm going to swap out now and put um, Bidoof up front. Oops, not summary. Yeah, so it's, it's very exciting to kind of talk about. The more I talk about people, the more excited they get. And it's very, um, yeah, it's just going to be a huge, huge life change. And I think this will be good for everybody in the long run. Myself, my fiance, our family, um, setting us up for the future as a family and towards retirement and all that, you know, 30, 35 years down the road. So, no, it'll, it'll be really good. So, yeah. No, I'm glad I kind of have this uh, small community to kind of share with too and share my, my joys about it. So basically that's what's been consuming a lot of my time. There's a lot of research with that, a lot of talking with people, a lot of talking with my fiance and uh, just figuring, figuring all that stuff out. Uh, let's go with Ember. All right, I can't remember. I know the first gym leader's a rock type. Um, so it would be great if I could get Cheat up to Monferno. Because I'm pretty sure Monferno is running splits to firefighting. Uh, I don't know if he gets any fighting moves. That was the problem. So... I think the Rock Gym might pose a bit of a problem here. Uh, I know it's not coming up in Jubilife, it's in the one... Wait, that, that way for you guys, right? Yeah, it's gonna be the gym that way. Uh, Mach Punch. Does it get Mach Punch early though? Like, I, I thought Mach Punch was like... I don't know, I thought Mach Punch was like when he evolved in Inferno if he got that, but I could be wrong. If I am, definitely not, you can look it up if you want. I, I'll probably look it off screen, because I, I don't think we'll get to the first gym um, this episode. It'll probably be the next episode, so we want 12 minutes, yeah. We'll probably make it to uh, the next area, and then from there I'll probably stop, do a bit of grinding, some research. Um, we'll keep streaming, obviously, and then uh, we'll, we'll do the next episode from there. All right, so I got to go into the. Should let's go heal up first. So don't forget. So I'm gonna forget. <laughs> All right, let's go into here. Yeah, if you notice, if you notice Mach Punch as a uh, Monferno, that would be just absolutely incredible. Really, does he? Okay, interesting. All right, that'll be cool. Huh. All right. Yeah, because I know he has a, a Kranidos, and I want to say a Geodude or something like that. But uh, maybe it was, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Geodude and Kranidos he has. Huh. We get Mach Punch, level 16. That's interesting. That change, that changes a lot of stuff. Okay. And we got a Brave Nature, which isn't bad. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that'll be cool. Yeah, so that definitely helps a lot then, for sure. So I guess that kind of makes sense, too, because if you did just choose um, Chimchar, I mean, there's not really much you can do to a rock type from there. Because the only Pokemon you can get are what, like Starly, who dies to any kind of rock move. Um, you get Shanks, which can kind of help, but not really. It's a physical attacker, but it has Intimidates, so maybe. Um, yeah, Oshawott, obviously, and Snivy, or not Snivy, um, Turtwig. I think they get, what, probably uh, Razor Leaf and, like, Bubble, so... Maybe I'll deal with him pretty quick. All right, Devin's just not talking. We don't, we don't care. <laughs> Sorry, Devin, but this is the one time I don't care what you're saying. All right, so now we got to go talk to this dude. He's gonna tell us about the three clowns we gotta find. I think I know where all three of them are, but I can't. I can't quite remember. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. We'll find them. All right, so we gotta get the poke etch, and then from there, I think we can go that way, and we'll battle Devin for the first time. Which I think I. I'm pretty sure when I play through, yeah, like level 7, level 9 or something like that. So I don't know how comfortable I feel. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, so does the Pokemon grow by defeating other than gaining experience points? Yes or no? Obviously, yeah. <laughs> Obviously it does. Uh, Alright, skill strong by between Pokemon Battle, of course. So give me that first ticket, please. Thank you. Or coupon, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's a ticket. It's fine. It's the same thing. Alright. Let's go up here, talk to the second clown. I think the third one's that way. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I didn't even see the question. We just got it right. All right. <laughs> so holding items. That's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad at button mashing, as you guys know. So, I don't know. Interesting. Ooh, right. Yeah, we do get other encounters. But it's interesting though, because I'm only gonna have two Pokemon, so if so I'd have to um, I'd have to change out Bidoof. Which I guess I could do. I said I was only gonna have two Pokemon for the first gym. So I change out Bidoof from a chop, but as in the stipulation, it's still does luck. So if I don't get my chops in the first encounter, if it's like a Geodude, I'm kinda stuck. Um, so he's got to hope RNG's on our uh, on our side there with that one. Let's go back to this uh, this president guy, get our poke itch. All right, one two three, bravo! Give me the Pokemon watch, thank you. All right, so let's just change this to. I know you guys, oh wait, you guys can't even see it. It might just really matter then. All right. But I'll just keep it on the, the time then, I guess. Yeah, I originally had a layout where it showed the bottom screen, but I figured, you know what, you guys want to care for the top screen, so let's just show that. Um, all right. Now, I don't know how strong these trainers are, but I do have a little line uh, Chimchar, so we'll see. I just do a little bit of grinding here for uh, for a bit, just clear out these trainers in this row. And we get a new encounter in this row, too. Um, so I'm hoping maybe there's a Shinx up here I can grab. Um, now we already have a Starly and a Bidoof for our captures, so Dupe's Claws is a thing, if you guys don't know. Uh, if you encounter, if, if your first encounter on the red is a Pokemon you already caught, not just encounter, but caught, then you get to re-roll and do the next encounter instead. Um, oh, he's level 7, okay. I almost stayed in with Okan, I was so close. <laughs> Alright, now we do have uh, a couple, I think like four potions or something, so I am kind of safe a little bit in case we get in a little bit of trouble. Uh, but I think for the battle with Devin, I'm definitely going to leave with Cheeto. I like to have him at least like level 10 or 11 first, so I want to clear up these trainers and get this road done. Um, yeah, that way it won't be as much of a bloodbath. Um, it will be a little more safe, barring some crits and whatnot, because I don't know if he has a Starly or a Shanks or something, but if he has Shanks with Intimidate, it's kind of an issue for us. So I'm thinking I might want to lead with Bidoof, even if he's a low level. I might lead with Bidoof and then swap into Cheeto if he does have uh, Shinx with Intimidate, but I really can't remember. Alright, it's Chief December. There we go. Bidoof goes down. Uh, species Clause? Uh, species, yeah, Species Clause is part of Deep's Clause, in, in my mind at least. Um, yeah, 100%. Yeah, so if like, I run into a Star Radio or something, I'm not going to. Uh, it's Deep's. I already have one. Or I have one. Yeah. Now, I know some people, they have the option. They're like, hey, well, I, I can catch dupes if I want to. I, I think that's a little ridiculous in my mind. Um, I, I think if you're going to have dupes claws, like, you don't you don't get a choice. Like, you're forfeiting that right, right away. So, yeah, 100%. The species claws is definitely a thing. Um, let's go. Who do I have? Okay, we're fine. Uh, all right, so we do get an encounter up here. It's route 204. Okay, so... Let's just grab our encounter. Um, let's see who it is. Be someone good, please? Bidoof. Alright, so we, that one's again. Dupe's Claws with that one, so we're gonna re-roll. Um, I don't know if we can catch anything new up here. It might be Shinx, but I really don't know. Uh, then, of course, Shiny Claws is the thing, so if it's Shiny, I'm gonna catch it anyway. So. Alright, let's just let's give us a couple uh, a little run through here and just see what we can find. I don't think there's anything too crazy up here. Bidoof. I'll give it a few more encounters. If I don't find anything in them, then I'll just leave it. Worst case scenario, if we need a bit of I can always come back here and, uh, and get one. Alright, let's see. Uh, oh, there's a Shanks. Awesome. So let's grab a Shanks. Please look at level 5. 4. Alright, that's fine. That's good. Alright, now he's going to have Intimidate as a question. I think all Shanks have Intimidate, don't they? Yeah, he does. There he is. Alright. So, we gotta grab the Shinx and Intimidate. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna use a couple tackles. I, I know it's not gonna do anything because he intimidated us. Um, but I'm hoping just wouldn't down a little bit, throw a couple balls. It's gonna be like five balls now or something. So, it should be should be okay. Yeah, this is exactly what I need for the team. So, I'm definitely gonna swap out o Canada for the Shinx. Uh, I think it's gonna be a lot more viable, especially having the Intimidate. It's gonna be really nice against that, uh, that turn battle with Devin for sure. Um, so, I definitely wanna be up with Shinx, so I'll probably swap right over to Cheeto. And then we take his first mod, he'll just go into Oshawott. So once again, I'll swap out into Shinx, and then go from there. Now, he just critted us. That's kind of scary. Um, I think... Do I risk it? I'm going to risk it. 
That's the hitmon scott way. I'm gonna risk it. Just don't crit us. 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 There we go. All right, awesome. Now he's got a not fast click. <laughs> It wouldn't be a Hitmon Scott and Nuzlocke if the episode. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm pretty sure that's our last encounter before we can uh, do our trainer battle, so. Oh man, that's heartbreaking. I had a whole strategy too. <laughs> Shoot. Alright. Well. Yeah, the, the exact opposite happened. Literally the exact opposite. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's going to call for this episode. Um, if you enjoyed, please show love that like button down below. Make sure to subscribe, turn this a video, and uh, press F in the comments. To pay respect to that, that shanks that could have been ours, it should have been ours, but. Bidoof decided to be the the champion that he is and crit and kill the kill the shinks. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and um, yeah, I gotta figure another sign off. <laughs> Keep looking guys, hit the Scott. Peace out.